Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Salam sejahtera semua Okay, so kita nak lihat soalan berkaitan dengan EMF so, Bateri okay, So kita recap balik what is EMF EMF Kalau bahasa Melayunya DGE Daya gerak elektrik Okay Is the maximum energy can be supplied by the power source To bring a unit charge Tenaga maksima yang boleh dibekalkan oleh sumber kuasa which is bateri ni Untuk membawa satu unit charge okay. So, uh, apa beza antara EMF, DGE and potential different beza keupayaan Is beza keupayaan adalah tenaga yang dia bagi EMF or DGE adalah yang jumlah tenaga yang dia ada yang dia boleh bagi Which is, uh, dia tak akan bagi semua tenaga yang dia ada Contoh, contoh dia ada 1.5 volt of DGE Okay, yang dia supply, potential different, 1.3 volt That's the example So, maximum is 1.5 Dia boleh supply for a charge, for a unit charge Energy can be supplied to a unit charge is 1.5 joule per charge Okay, tapi yang dia supply is only 1.3 Meaning is give 1.3 joule per charge okay. So, that's why DGE is always bigger than potential different Always begin the potential difference. Okay, so in this case, because formula DGE ataupun EMF tak bagi dalam exam, so kita kena ingat asas dia is EMF or DGE is equal to V plus I R. Okay, so based on my previous example is example this is 1.5, uh, but the energy yang dibagi volt yang dibagi is 1.3 volt. So mana lagi bagi 0.2 volt? 0.2 volt loss due to R R kecil is the internal resistance okay. So the energy loss 0.2 to loss because of internal resistance okay. So that's very fundamental untuk DGE okay. So in this case you have 2 liter Ada 2 liter and this, the question is what is the internal resistance So dia nak berapa nilai R kecil Okay, nilai R kecil. So, soalan ni You have different current Because, kenapa ada different current 0.3, 0.2 Because you have different resistor Perintang di lain Okay, tapi sumber tenaga dia sama Maknanya bateri dia pakai sama Same ENF, same DGE Same internal resistor Okay, to solve this, korang kena pakai Simultaneous equation Okay, simultaneous equation is something like this kita balik for the very fundamental part The very fundamental part is uh, E EMF Or DGE is V Plus I R But kita boleh expand become I Bigger R External resistor plus internal resistor EMF okay. So in this case, check what for the first question Is EMF, kita tak tahu berapa But Current 0.3 times 3 plus 0.3 R okay. For second one, the EMF or the DGE is 0.2 times 5 plus 0.2 R kita ada dua equation kat sini So bila ada dua equation So what you need to do is To solve it by simultaneous equation okay, Contoh cikgu Sama kan because EMF, EMF sama Bateri tak beza, bateri tak tukar So 0.3R Sama dengan 0.2 Times 5 Plus 0.2R Okay, so 0.9 plus 0.3R 1.0 plus 0.2R Okay, so kita buat macam ni 1.0 tolak 0.9 Tukangkan 0.3R minus 0.2R So you get R equals to 1 Oh, so the internal resistance for this battery 
Okey adalah 1 ohm. Okey 1 ohm. Alright. So formula ni kena ingat sebab dalam exam dia takkan bagi formula for EMF or DGE. Okey. And untuk this kind of question korang kena guna simultaneous equation. Itu saja. Jangan lupa subscribe ke YouTube channel kami. Uh, Fizik SPM. Fizik. See you again. Bye-bye.